start with prayer like we do every day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Last night, you guys had homework on slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. And since I can't ask you questions about that, um, let's just review real quick with um, how do you find the slope of a parallel line? Or what do the slopes of parallel lines have in common? Okay, and we said that the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different. Okay, so if the slopes are the same in two uh, equations of the line, but the intercepts are different, then we know we have parallel lines. So we don't even have to graph the equations, we can just look at the equations and know. So if we had an equation like y equals 2x plus 3, and another equation y equals 2x minus 2, we can just look at those two equations and know that they are parallel lines. And if they're parallel lines, there's going to be no solution to the system of equations. We'll learn more about that in chapter 6. So something to look forward to over Christmas break. Um, and we also looked at perpendicular lines. And we said that perpendicular lines, um, to determine if two lines are perpendicular to each other without graphing, we can look at their slopes again. Um, but this time we would have to multiply the slopes together. And when we multiply the slopes together, if we get a negative one, um, then we know that lines are perpendicular. So the slopes are like the negative opposite of each other. So um, if we wanted to write an equation of a line that was perpendicular to this line, we would just need to take the negative reciprocal of this slope, and then it wouldn't matter what our y-intercept is there, but those, these two equations would form perpendicular lines. So again, all we have to do is look at the slope in order to determine whether or not lines are perpendicular or parallel to each other. Um, the next lesson is lesson 5-9, which is on transforming lines. And I said we would hold off on that, um, that section until after Christmas. And after Christmas, we'll just have a quiz over that lesson. But I do want to go over how to transform the lines. And basically, all um, it talks about is when you go to transform a line, you can change the position of it through translations. These are like the same thing we did in uh, geometry last year when we were transforming um, shapes on a graph. On the coordinate plane, we were translating like triangles. We said we could translate it or just like slide it over. We said we could reflect it over the y-axis or reflect it, the image over the x-axis. And um, we could rotate. So we'll look at those three different ways of doing the same thing for an equation of a line. And basically, um, all it has to do with is either changing the slope, which would change the steepness of the line, or changing the y-intercept, or changing both. Um, so again, we'll do that after Christmas break. We won't worry about that now. Today, what I want you to do, though, is start preparing for our test on Monday, because yes, we are still going to have a test on Monday. The test on Monday will be at everything in Chapter 5 up to and including Lesson 5.8. And again, Lesson 5.9 will be on when we get back, we'll just do that and have maybe a little quiz or something on that. Um, but I do want you to learn that lesson. So today, even on your snow day, as promised, I am giving you an assignment. I selected just a few problems. I don't need to do the whole um, study guide review. Just a few problems from the study guide review that will um, you'll probably see again on Monday um, when we go to take the test. So and you, remember, you don't have to do it all today. This isn't due tomorrow. Um, but if you get bored today on your snow day and feel like having a little fun with math, <laughs> you can go ahead and do these problems. Pages 368 to 370. And you just have to do problems 4, 6, 8, 12. Um, 16, 20, 21, 22, 28, 
So this is more than I thought it was, $39.45. 52 and 55 But again, um, you have until Monday, because the test is Monday, and um, we'll go over these problems in class tomorrow too. But I would recommend that you guys at least try to do some of these today so that you can um, do well on uh, Monday's test. Um, and don't worry about write, writing all this down. I'll put it on Google Classroom. I'll put it on my Google site page. See if uh, the news, local news stations will just like run a little homework assignment. Yeah, that would be cool. Instead of like schools that are canceled tonight, they can do school homework assignments. All right. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Like always, you can email me anytime, ask any questions, and um, we'll review tomorrow too. Uh, I want you guys to do well, and I'm sure you will. Uh, enjoy your day. Thank you.